The lawmakers in Albany are getting closer to a deal on the state budget, and part of that deal includes a crackdown on retail theft. It calls for harsher penalties for assaults on retail workers, a tax credit to allow bodegas and small retail stores to upgrade their security, and funding for law enforcement to target retail theft rings. Governor Hochul spoke about the plan this afternoon, and Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles is in the newsroom with details. Sandra, this plan affects a lot of people and will make all of them very happy. As we all know, retail theft rings are an ongoing problem for bodegas, grocery stores, mom and pop businesses, and both common and luxury retail chains. But they're also a problem for customers, too, who really can't even shop freely without having to wait for a store associate to unlock a glass case for things as simple as deodorant or shampoo. Retail theft is no longer one person waiting for the right moment to walk in a store when no one's looking to snatch one item and run out of the store. This is what retail theft looks like these days. Groups of thieves who make it look like a competition on a game show, quickly snatching up any and everything in front of store workers and other shoppers. Elevated tactics bringing elevated levels of violence. Retail incidents involving physical force have more than doubled. This is just not stealing anymore. This is harming. Thursday afternoon, Governor Hochul continuing the state's crackdown on retail theft patterns that started during the pandemic, announcing that an assault on a retail worker will now be prosecuted as a felony. Going from a misdemeanor to a felony was a dramatic change for a lot of people. They are the ones who allow us to function and thrive in our communities, and that's why it was elevated from a a misdemeanor to a felony. And now, prosecutors will be able to pursue more serious larceny charges that carry stiffer penalties by combining the value of stolen goods from multiple stores hit by the same theft ring. We also appreciate the changes in the law that will allow Mike McMahon, myself, and other DAs to prosecute people and to hold them accountable. The state earmarking $40.2 million to address organized theft. When you're waiting online to pay your bill, and someone else walks in with a backpack, goes and empties the shelves and then walks out and you're still waiting to pay your bill. People notice that. Now, the New York State Police will be the lead agency for this organized retail theft unit. It will coordinate with local law enforcement and will add 100 state police personnel to the unit.